Hi guys. Hello. It's Mary and Alicia. And tonight we made chocolate chip cookie dough cupcakes. So what they are is it's a chocolate chip cookie dough flavored cupcake that we filled with an eggless cookie dough. So um, it's edible and raw. It's okay to eat raw. And then a cookie dough frosting with mini chocolate chips. These are amazing, amazing, but you need to keep in mind <laughs> that they're not low calorie. They have a lot of a lot of butter, butter a lot of sugar they have chocolate yeah so i would i would recommend these for like a birthday party or a special occasion and you because, probably could only have just one yeah they're really like they're intense they're really good but um yeah <laughs> so don't spam us with comments going on about how fatty they are we're well aware i like to call this a paula dean recipe <laughs> it's but, got more butter than you could even imagine <laughs> but um i found this recipe the other day on stumble upon um, on this website, I believe called Annie's Eats, which I'll have a link to in the underbar, and I had to make them immediately after I found the, web, the recipe, and they're so good, so we wanted to make a video showing you how to make them. So we hope you like it. The first thing is to put in, maybe, first thing is to put in three sticks of butter. I know that that seems like a lot, and I kind of feel like Paula Deen. But that's just how it goes. These are at room temperature, so they are really um, very soft. And then the next thing is a cup and a half of light brown sugar. So then I'm just going to lift this up and blend this. All right, so that's good. And make sure during, while it's going, you um, scrape down the sides. Make sure you get the bottom too, because sometimes this thing doesn't quite reach the bottom. So the next thing is to add the eggs one at a time. So I just have them in a cup, and I'm just going to add one at a time, and then mix it up. We'll add the next one. You don't have to have it all the way mixed, just pretty well mixed. Next one, Oops, or one and a half, and then the last. So once that's mixed, in a separate bowl, I combined flour, um, there's two and two thirds of a cup of flour, and then it's a teaspoon of each baking powder and baking soda, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then I just mix it with a whisk and you get the same consistency as if you sifted it. And then what you also need is a cup of milk. And so for this part, you just alternate putting the uh, powder in and the milk little by little adding um, the, starting with and ending with the dry powder. So I'll just get a measuring cup and add in the, a little bit of the dry ingredients. Let that mix and then add a little bit of milk. And just alternate doing that until you have finished the milk and then you finish the dry ingredients. So I've added all the ingredients, and the last step is just to add two tablespoons of vanilla. And so once that's thoroughly mixed, you could just take off the attachment, or if you're just doing this with normal beaters, just take them out. And then you just want to fold in a cup of chocolate chips. And if you don't know, folding them in basically means doing it with a spatula if you did it with the beaters they'd get stuck in there and it would break them up and it just wouldn't be pretty and then it's time to put them in the cupcake liners okay so now we're going to put the cupcake batter in the cupcake tins the well, scoop i like to use for for cupcakes um what size would this be it says 24 on the inside i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it, it would look like it's like an eighth. I don't know. Um, it's probably about an eighth of a cup. Maybe but this, a this shy. will fill it up. You want to fill them up two thirds of the way. And this batter is pretty thick, so it kind of will scoop out like ice cream, like really soft ice cream. And we so. find that if you use the little muffin papers or cupcake papers, they help a lot to get it out. Easier to clean your pan, and, and then it they keeps them from burning on the bottom. It does, and the other thing is, is it keeps them from having, like it has a uniform shape. If you don't use them, sometimes your cupcakes will go higher on the sides and kind of have like a dinosaur egg shape in the middle, and it's not attractive. So, we want pretty cupcakes, okay? And that's the point of cupcakes. Yeah, I'm thinking so. 
So I'm using a bigger scoop, so I'm just gonna go a little bit. Yes. So <laughs> this is not a low calorie, so all of you girls out there that are worrying, don't eat them. Okay? <laughs> These are not low calorie. They're so they good. They're so though. good. Cheat. Special I'm treat. You. Work on an extra hour tomorrow. Okay? They're but I know. So good. They're not low calories, so don't. Yeah, there's don't no flip comment. Out on we, us. We're very aware that these have, I think, a total of six and a half <laughs> sticks of butter. butter. So we're telling you now. We're totally Paula D. You heard it here first that. But you're not going to eat them all. Right. You're going to eat one. Because right. you can't eat more than one with these. They're very filling. Yes. I didn't even get to eat one. I probably couldn't eat one. Eat one. No. Probably half. Yeah. So anyway. Fine, you're slacking. So don't flip out. One for breakfast and <laughs> run 10 or 15 miles after that. And that's good. It, it never happened. Yeah. Yeah, go to that. Go to that extra too. gym class that you always want to do. This is motivation. There you go. These are going into a 350 degree preheated oven for, I don't know, I think like 18 minutes? Yeah, 18 to 20 minutes, basically until you can put the toothpick in and it'll come out clean. Um, and so while they're baking, we'll show you how to do the cookie dough inside and the frosting. All right, so now I'm just going to do the cookie dough filling. So you, it says to do this with a mixer, but I don't really want to have to clean it again. So I'm just going to do it by hand because it's not really that, that big of a deal. So this is four tablespoons of butter and this is six tablespoons of brown sugar. And so I'm just going to mix this together. So once that's mixed, I have one cup plus one or two tablespoons of flour. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then seven ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And this is what really holds it all together. So I'm just gonna do this really horribly messy, which I don't recommend. All right, so now we have this, which if you've ever made cookies before, it looks just like cookie dough. It actually tastes a little bit sweeter than normal cookie dough because of the sweetened condensed milk, but that's not a bad thing. And then I'm just going to add a quarter of a cup of mini chocolate chips and mix that in. So now the next part is to fill the cupcakes. So what you're gonna do is just cut out a cone shape in the middle of the cupcake. So kind of angle your knife inward and just cut out a circle. And then when you pull it out, it'll be like a cone. You'll have a nice dip in the middle. So I'm just gonna cut off the end of that like this. Then take a spoon and a little bit of the cookie dough filling and just stuff it right in the middle. And then just put the top back on. So you're gonna do that with all 24. All right, so now we're going to start the frosting. Frosting is going to start out with three sticks of butter and three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And I'm just going to mix this once it gets plugged in. And believe me, I am well aware that this whole entire recipe has a crap ton of butter. Anyways, just think of this as more of like a party dessert, like for a birthday or something like that. Not Obviously, it's not an everyday treat. And then you won't worry so much about how much butter is in this because I'm well aware it's a lot. Anyways, you just want to blend this until it's uh, nice, light, and fluffy. Probably around three minutes. All right, so mix the butter and the sugar. So now I'm just going to put in three and a half cups of confectionery sugar, powdered sugar. I'm just going to do this a little bit at a time because this stuff will puff up and get everywhere otherwise on a really low speed until it's all the way combined. See, even that, I can see it kind of puffing up. A little bit more. And of course, if you need to stop it, 
and get everything out of the center and off the sides. So now I'm just going to add flour into the frosting. This is a cup and um, this is one cup of flour. Okay, so after you have your cupcakes and you uh, already um, put the cookie dough on the inside, you put the top back on, okay? You're just gonna frost it with the frosting you made. So you could either just spread your frosting on or you could put it in a, a bag and pipe it on. That's just another option. But we're not gonna do that tonight. And then you're just going to um, put some chocolate chips on the top. Okay, so the cupcakes are finished. Yeah, we just finished frosting them. We'll try. We'll try half. So we'll give it a shot. It's so messy. <laughs> it's really... What she's trying to say is they're really, really good. And I think if you eat one of these, you're going to have to probably do two or three more workouts than you normally would. It's but really, it's okay. Really it is okay. good. The cupcakes really moist. The frosting really helps to balance everything out. It's not too chocolatey. So until next time, we'll see ya.